Hey, this is Jack and today I have a challenge. One of my subscribers sent me an email requesting me to show him how to create a two column mobile layout with just the WordPress editor. He watched one of my videos where I use only the WordPress editor to create a page like this but that didn't give him the answer he needed. Now you might be thinking, why would I create a page with the WordPress editor when there are page builders like Elementor or Beaver Builder, right? Elementor is free and it's so much easier to create a page because of its drag and drop functionality and creating a two column mobile layout is a walk in the park with page builders. Yeah, it's true. Page builders are awesome, but I'm a page speed junkie. When it comes to page speed optimization, page builders and page speed don't work well together. So I'll always try to avoid page builders as much as possible. Yeah, so if you're using Elementor, Beaver Builder or Breezy, you're not gonna find a solution here and your website is never going to get a 90 plus rating on Google Page Speed Insights. Ouch. So this video is dedicated to you if you want to create a two to three column mobile layout with only the WordPress editor and I want to show you how to create something like this on a singular page. So let's go. Now let's first take a look at the email I've received. So the request is he wanted his website to look like the first image which is this pretty looking two column info cards but he's getting the second image which is just one column because this is the default mobile layout on WordPress. I'll be honest with you, when I received this request, I didn't know much about this because I've never paid attention to this. I always thought it's good to have just one column on a mobile layout. So I went to good old YouTube to find a tutorial on this. Now I wanted a solution that does not require me to install a separate plugin just for the sake of this function. I don't like to clutter my site with tons of plugins because it will slow down your website and you never know what codes are in them. Secondly, I don't want a solution that uses any page builders. You know my reason. So on YouTube, I spent some time watching these videos right here, but none of them gave me the solution I needed. For example, this video requires me to install a plugin just for the layout. This is specific to a team. And this video uses a page builder, Elementor. So they are not exactly what I was looking for. So my only option is to trial and error. So I spent hours trying to find the answer and I finally found one. So I would really appreciate if you can award me and give me a pat on the back by hitting the thumbs up button. Now back to the tutorial, we are at the WordPress dashboard. Let's first install a Gutenberg block builder plugin that will assist with building pages without page builders. So let's go to plugins, add new, search for Cadence. This is the one we are looking for, Gutenberg Blocks by Cadence Blocks, created by Cadence WP. Let's install this and activate. So now we have got everything ready. Let's head over to the blank page I've created. So on the left, it will be the stuff that I will customize on the WordPress editor and on the right, it will be all the life changes made on the editor. So this is how the blank page looks right now. The first thing we wanna do is to hit this plus and select this row layout. This is the Gutenberg block by Cadence Blocks. So if you didn't install the Cadence Blocks plugin, you need to install that to find this block here. And if you don't see this block here, you can just search this name over here. So I'll select row layout. And firstly, I wanna select this one column row for the background. Next, you wanna make sure to select this row layout layer. Click on that and next you wanna click on this gear settings and then head down over to structure settings. You want to toggle this max content width inherit from team. And once you toggle that, you can see that the width of your content becomes a little smaller. Next, let's add another block. Select row layout again. And this time around, you want to select four equal columns. And then the next thing you want to do, you want to go to each of the columns and add a block. You want to search for info and you'll see this info box here. You want to select that. And then let's toggle around this settings area. You can play around with this info box layouts, like for example, this or this. It really depends on what's your preference, but for me, I'll use this. And then let's go to container settings. The container background, which is this little gray area, I wanna change it to white. And then the container border, I wouldn't do anything. Let's go to media settings. Now you can align this icon to the left of the info card or you can bring it to the right. I think top looks better. So the media type, we want to change it to image. Let's upload an image. We want to change this to thumbnail. And then the max image width, I want to change it to 300. And because we can't see it properly here, let's update this. 
and let's refresh and we can see it here next to title settings you can play around with the title settings which is to amend this title here but what I will do is to select this H2 tag and put in the font size of maybe 20 and then I'll change the title to this next let's scroll down let's go to text settings we don't want this text here so we need to toggle this off and then let's go down further container shadow we just enable this shadow color we want to maybe make it a little bit like this and then just play around with it let's say the shadow blur make it 12 the spread negative 5 the shadow vertical offset will make it 10 and then the horizontal offset will make it maybe 8 so this is the effect we want let's update this refresh and we can see it like that looking quite awesome and let's add the next info card and let me show you a trick to make the process much quicker so let's add an info block on the next column click on this select info box and then next you want to go to media settings first change this icon to image upload the image you want let's say this and then let's not do anything else let's click on the previous info card and then you want to hover over to this copy and paste styles click on that you want to copy this style and then you want to click on the new info card click on this icon again paste styles and you'll immediately see the changes but we still have to remove this text manually so let's head to text settings toggle this off and you'll see it gone and then let's change the title of this let's update this refresh you'll see it here so I don't want to waste your time let me fast forward the process of adding additional six more info cards so let's go now let me take a pause to show you a trick that will speed up the process of adding additional four info cards so you want to select either of these info cards look towards the bottom for the layers you want to select the most exterior row layout layer click on this and you'll see this selected what you want to do is to click on this more options and select duplicate and you'll see four more info cards added let's update this refresh now all you need to do is to edit the info in the info cards so let's go okay we are done let's update this refresh and we're basically done with the desktop style now if we close this up on the mobile screen it still shows one column so what we need to do is to head back over to our wordpress editor let's click on either of these info cards and then you want to select this row layout layer at the bottom not the far left but the row layout layer above the far left let's click on that and then head over to the top we see this mobile icon let's click on this and then over here you can see the mobile layout options currently this is selected you can even put in four equal columns on mobile but what we are looking for is two columns so let's select this and let's update so the changes will only appear on the first four info card let's refresh this and as you can see the first four info card we have these two columns here so let's do the same thing for the next row layout select either one of these select this row layout toggle the mobile select these two columns update refresh and we are basically done and as you can see this line of text is a little too big so let's go to the contemporary let's select the title settings change it to maybe 19 update refresh and it fits right in now let me show you something cool let's say you select this grande let's select the media settings let's change the image hover animation to maybe grayscale to color let's update refresh and if you hover over to grande you can see that when we are not hovering to it it's a gray scale and if we hover over there is some color here this is not a good example let's choose the chester's view instead so let's select this info card go to media settings change this animation to gray scale to color update refresh 
And as you can see, this is quite amazing. Now let's see if we can style this further apart because as you can see, if you toggle between these two info cards, they are sticking quite close to each other. So what we want to do is to click on either of these info cards again. I want to select the section layer. Let's scroll down to padding and margin. So the bottom margin, we want to give this maybe 30 pixels. Let's update, refresh and voila. So let me explain this margin and padding. Every layer over here will have its own padding and margin. So depending on which layer you choose, you can edit the spaces in between. So let's say I want to edit this Chesterfield info card. I want this info card to stay, but I just want to push this image down. So what I would do is to click on the Chesterfield info card, make sure that the info card layer is selected. And if we go to container settings, if we click on this to expand out the individual padding, let me change this to 60 and let's update, refresh. You can see that there are some added spaces within this info card. So this padding changes the spaces within the selected layer. And what margin does is to change the spacing out of this info card. So let's say that I want to push this entire info card down. All I need to do is to add a margin, maybe 50 and update. And you'll see this info card push down. So whatever layer you select at the bottom here, you can change the margin and padding. And with that said, let's go back to the default. So there's one more thing we need to change other than all the grayscale to color for the rest of the info cards is this spacing in between these two row layouts. So to change that, let's select the outermost row layout layer which is this over here. Let's select this. And then if we go to margin and padding, you can see that at the bottom, there is this 25 padding here. Let's remove it, put it at zero, update, refresh, and we can see that it's moving up a little. So the margin padding is gone for the top row layout. Let's select the bottom row layout. Let's click on this, select the outermost row layout. Let's go to margin and padding. Look at this top padding. Let's remove this, update, refresh, and you'll see it moved up. So that's how you create a two column mobile layout for a page or post. Now, I don't think you will have any problems with the mobile layout for WooCommerce because I've installed WooCommerce on GeneratePress and by default, their shop layout is two column on mobile. I did the same with Astra WP and Ocean WP and they all fetch the same result. I believe it is the same with other highly customizable themes. For Cadence, it is in the WooCommerce tab, product catalog, scroll down all the way to the bottom and here is the selection. And for Bloxy, it is in the WooCommerce, Product Archives, toggle this mobile option and select the columns. So I hope this video has been helpful and if you have any questions or you need help with your WordPress website, feel free to leave a comment down below. Hope to get a thumbs up from you if you haven't done so and if you have done that, thank you. Anyway, if you wish to learn how to build beautiful landing pages with just the WordPress editor, do check out the video on the top right. And if you wish to speed up your WordPress website, I have a case study for you at the bottom right. And if you wish to learn more about the best WordPress hosting, themes and plugins, do subscribe to the channel. My goal is to help you build fast and beautiful websites for your online business. All the best, take care and stay safe.